Discovery 3, Discovery 4 tailgate. It's a work of art. It is absolutely a work of art. There are so many things about why this is good. I'll just tell you a couple of them. Obviously, you can open the top. You can sit in the back. You can film cars behind you. Also, where you've got the lower level, you can. it's easier to reach in with this lower bit here. And then where you've got the higher bit, if you close that, you've got a bigger platform to stand on, which if they were the same level, you wouldn't have. So there's all loads of reasons. Also, if you're parked next to a car, really close to a wall, a bigger tailgate will be harder to open. This one's easier to open because you avoid car bonnets and things. Brilliant, love the Disco 3, Disco 4 tailgate. But when they go wrong, you're pooped. You're in all sorts of SH1T. Now, so this upper tailgate has the clasp here, okay? That's what it's got there. So the little clampy thing that holds that closed is located in this lower tailgate. So the upper tailgate release, this confused me for a bit, Tyler, not hard. The upper tailgate release is inside the lower tailgate. Now, if you if you come to your car, and you will, and it, it doesn't do anything, right, sometimes it's just the switch here, and we've done the video of how to replace that switch. There's just a little switch, and some of the early ones, there was an aluminium paddle, and the aluminium paddle got all corroded, and then it wouldn't. Or you could get the key, Q key, Tyler, press the, so it, that could be the problem. You could be lucky, press and hold the tailgate, release, oh, and again, there you go. So you can do that. So if your button packs up, you're still home and dry with your remote. Um, on the Discovery 3, I think you can do some clever press the lock and unlock, but that's not a feature you can do on the Discovery 4. Right, so if you do that and your tailgate still isn't opening, which isn't the purpose of this video, we're going to show you how to do a manual release. But I just want to explain why we're doing this and the sort of pickle you'll find yourself in. Um, you can, where was I going, Tyler? So you can do you can do the buttons, you can do the tailgate, you can do the normal button. You can, right, sometimes when your engine is running, it's better. So if it doesn't work, try running your engine. It raises the battery voltage from 12 to 14 volts, and it gives it a little more nudge on this solenoid. If the solenoid in here gets lazy, but if you do that, don't do it too many times because you know you're on borrowed time. Right. Now, if none of that works, you are in all sorts of trouble because the bit you've got to repair is hidden behind this bit of carpet and we will see that in a minute. We're gonna take this off. Now, that wouldn't be so bad because you can get in the car through your doors, climb in the back, you've got a big boot, it's nice and light, but this bit of carpet cunningly is held in by this top strip of plastic here which clamps over it. And of course, you can't remove that top bit of plastic because your upper tailgate is closed. So they've kind of pooped you. So you have to do some, there is some, and I think there's several different methods. I was wondering if you could get away with just cutting along a bit of this, but you, you somehow got to just either cut a big hole in here, and we could make a template, couldn't we, Tyler, for where to cut to find the solenoid to pull to release the upper tailgate. Um, of course, when you release the upper tailgate, you can then press this button to release the lower tailgate. Right. But let's come this way, come this way, Tyler. It's another story. They have produced this get out of jail free card. That's Monopoly reference there, isn't it, Tyler? Right then, something. Right, and look, they've put the LRP brand, they've made this lovely little cast aluminium, right? And, it, and what it does, you mount that into the carpet. I haven't done one of these yet, so we're learning. And when you pull that, look, it's gonna pull this little doot doot mechanism here, and it is gonna release our tailgate for us. So that if ever, I get, is it one of those pessimistic things you fit, Tyler? Are you like planning on it failing or, but it does have an additional benefit if you're in the boot and you want to open it. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people use their discos on the back of that. Yes, um, but it is one of those things. It's kind of like paying for your insurance. <laughs> it's just nice to know it's there if you need it. Um, beautifully made, reasonably priced. We've bought a few. You can buy it from Land Rover Passion if you're in Europe or you can buy it from us, if not. Now this comes with a, a look at that. Look, they've even bilingualed it, they're far. We're not very good at bilingual, are we, Tyler? No. We're a bit rubbish, us British, aren't we? Don't know which other language to pick. No, scan the QR code and download the manual, look. So it's got, it's got this one. Why have they given it two choices? That confuses me. 
But there we go. Ah, don't know. Right. So we can scan that and it brings us up. But let's have a look what else we've got. We've got a plate there. We've got a plate, some nice screws, some cable ties, and a like lucky horseshoe bracket. We can screw that to the front of our car, Tyler. Right then. Um, I guess that's integral to what we're going to do. Yeah. And some, some, look at that, in a lovely, look, okay. There you go, there's their website, look, Tyler, there you go. Landroverpassion.com. Right, so let's have a go at fitting it. So we will pull up their, well, we've pulled up their fitting instructions. Look, they're beautiful, they're better than ours, Tyler. Look, they've got some lovely... We do videos. We do videos, yeah, we can't do it. They've done a beautiful job, I can't take... Oh, look at that, we've got, we got pages and pages of it. Come Right, so that, that's what you should have. That's all the tools you'll need, which is a rare old collection of tools. But I'll take a screen grab and put it in the in the video now. Right, off you go, Tyler. What's well, on? So, Tyler's highlighted the little four little caps covers. Yeah, they're covers, aren't they? Orange for you. We'll soon know if someone steals. If anyone ever finds a car with loads of orange dots, they've stolen it from us. Right then. So let's have a go at pinging one of those little covers off, Tyler. Probably going from the floor. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he's there. There you go, look at that, I'll flip him over for me, there you go, look, he's like a little sort of springy cup, and behind that reveals a lovely orange painted Phillips, Phillips head screwdriver, so let's remove that, there you go, give me that one, right, all the caps are the same, all the screws are the same, well, apparently you just lift that up, Tyler, and I'm not quite sure how that switch is there, this has never been off, well, not since I've had it, yeah. Urgh. Don't break my oh, car, Tyler. Oh, that sounded like a break. Oh, that's a clip. It's just a clip. Don't panic. I don't know where that's come from. Oh, we've got a clip. A clip's it's, emerged. It's right, we'll have to yeah. investigate him. Probably one of those screws went into it. That sounded yeah. brutal. Right, so what have we got? We've got some, look, look, there's a white pointy thing there. Yeah. And there's one there. So we've got two. There's the button, but that's just a cover. Okay. I was a bit worried I'd have some wires coming out. So that, that literally is just a the cover there. Right, we've got a dusty old bit of... Right, now, were those those screws just going into that, or, or do you think they're... A, oh, hold on, there's a there, clip. There's, one, there's, one, yeah. there's, there's something behind there, Tyler. Where, where am I looking? I'm, I'm all confused. That's it on the car. That's, yeah. That's where the screw was. Well, let's rotate it round. And there's a... There, so how many have we got there? One. Two. Oh, hold on, he's missing that one. Yeah, yeah. He's missing that one, and he's missing that one. So one... Now, can you just lower this tailgate, Tyler? I think there's one jammed in the carpet. I could feel it there. Found him. Yeah, he was so yeah, carpet. make sure you find all of those. And he's in the carpet as well. Yeah, so you'll have to recover your four clips. So you'll end up with four of those screws. Now, when you put them back, it looks like you need to not put them back in the carpet, but put them back onto that, the holders on that plastic thing. Right, we're ready for the next set of instructions. Ah, uh, no, we've got a, right now, next tile, I know what we're doing. Let me grab a, let me grab a little pot for my bits and pieces. There we go. We like to put it all in a pot neatly. Right, now next up, we have got to release these stays. Now, if you look here, if I do some zooming in, Tyler's better on the camera, but I like to give him a chance to break my car. <laughs> right, you will notice we've colored it orange. There is a little spring metal band that goes around here. And actually on the back of this ball, on the opposite face to the car, sort of where it bolts in, on this back face here, there's a little flat and you can just get a nice flat blade screwdriver. But you need quite a one with a gentle angle nice. on and it'll just slip. I'm trying to get the back. Hang on, on this. Oh, hold on. I'm all over the place, Tyler. There you go. And you can just lever that out a little bit. And then you should be able to point the ball off. I'm going to tap it in. That's what I... Oh, my, my camera work is shocking. There you go. That's it. That'll be enough. You don't want to go too berserk. Right. You should just be able to wiggle that off, Tyler. All right, it needs to go a bit more. There you go. When he, when you get him out enough, he's there. So that is that off, and that reveals the ball. Now, interestingly, our ball is is loose. We will have to tighten that up. I think he's taking it out next. Week. Right now, don't let this go. I don't want to try, but apparently it could go and end up. Hold on, Tyler, I'm in the wrong place again. Let me zoom out. There you go. Right then. It can disappear in there. So the trick is, according to Land Rover Passion, what knot is this, Tyler? 
Overhand. Overhand. Should know my knots. Should know your knots. Naval heritage. There you go. And nice hook that on there. Right. We'll get on and do the other one because um, it's a bit painful to watch that, especially in my filming. And we'll come and join you and see what we're doing next. Right, one little trick we did. When you've got those two cables removed, the tailgate will drop. It won't go too far, it will rest on this rear. But if you're particularly, there you go, if you're particularly precious about your paintwork, or you want to impress your boss whose car you're working on, you can put a bit of foam in there, can't you, Tyler? Right, the next job we have to do is to remove these things that I said were loose, uh, which is handy for us, because they're loose. Um, there's a 13 millimeter socket, Tyler will demonstrate on the other side. We got a deep, and then that comes off complete with. Has that got one of those non fully off washer things on it? It has, Tyler. Yeah. We like that, don't we? They're clever. Right then. Yeah, that, that's one of those. That's good, that. Right then. So let's have a go. See how tight that one is? No, not tight. So they're both the same. There's no way. Yeah, a bit nice. <laughs> So with that removed, the carpet now will go up. So I'm not quite sure what's clipping it on. So let's have a go. And it obviously it's going to come up with these plastic bits because we've. That's why we've taken. Let's see what. See what happens. Oh, that seemed to do something, Tyler. Ah, uh, do a little white clip. Ah, there you go. Do you reckon there's a series of those? Move closer. That's it. There's a series of them in there. We ought to find out, we'll find out what the part number for those clips are and we'll put it in the, Probably I'll put them. it on the screen. We may even sell them to them. Probably pot them over there. Yeah. Right, and then, and then oh, there we go. Right, let's, uh, let's have a look at that then, Tyler. <laughs> Model that for me beautifully and let's have a look. There we go. So we've got this, it's a bit dirty. That must be, I wonder if we've got a subwoofer in here. So we've got a series of these clips. And if you need to change these clips, let me zoom in a bit, Tyler. Oh, the zoom's not working. Right. There you go, they sort of slot in. So you've got that sort of shape there. So if those are missing or broken, you can literally pop those out and slide those in. Why is my zoom not working? Right, um, right so that's all good there. What have we got? Let's have a look inside now, Tyler. I've got a subwoofer, Tyler. Look at that. He's a bit dusty, but there you go. That is, whoa. We beach. might have to take that out and clean it all up. Right, and so yeah, that's that little flap I lifted up. So that is where we're at. Right, we're ready for the next bit of instructions. We're all good so far, Tyler. You haven't broken anything. That's grease on my hinges. Right. I wonder if we could put the airline and blow that out, possibly. Right, let's have a look. Right, what we've got to do next is we've got to remove these four screws here. There's this sort of funny bit there dear Tyler got carried away he made those orange in. it's like you thought it was <laughs> colour by numbers or something right but it's just these here these four here um, undo those four now we've got this bracket here and so those that bracket I'll put it against the floor you can see he's there he is going to go over there and line up with those I'm guessing so there we go what were they Torx T how many 30. T30 T30 Dirty Gertie from number 30. Does that mean, does that mean anything to you, Tyler? No, take your word for it. Take Anybody know who Dirty Gertie from number 30 is? You've got to be a certain age. <laughs> You're going to have to Google that tonight. You're going to have to Google that tonight. You want, Tyler wants to know. It's not my side ting, Tyler. I can tell you that much. But it was somebody's side ting, I think. Right then. Right, he's removed all those. See what's under that? Tyler. They're all the same size, by the way. So we could, let's unplug that, Tyler. So, what, what have we got? Some squeeze, you got some, you know, yeah, yeah, little, little ears. Let me just have a look at that. Oh. There. So that, that's how to remove the subwoofer. Well, it turns out you do have to take all those out anyway. So, so you have to remove things. And then you've got the, um, subwoofer which we were going to take out anyway and that's got a series of these little nuts at the side so you need a 10 millimeter socket to undo those um, there you go and they are flanged nylocks that's as good as a nut gets nearly oh no we had serrated flanged nylocks the other day didn't we that was the top of the tree right so we've got those we are worried about them vibrating off yeah yes 
with that, right? And it only goes one way. We've highlighted it. It's got like a little weird shape at the top that goes next to that little bit there. So it only goes one way, which is good, obviously, so your connectors line up. So you don't need to worry about that. Right. Then what we've got to start to do is this bracket here. We've then got to cut a hole, I believe, for this bracket. So we need to position and mark where this bracket goes. Let's go over onto the table to do that, Tyler. Right. What we now have to do is cut this whole end bit off. So we need to put a bit of that across here somewhere. Right, let me make sure I get this right. right. I need to be able to see that hole there, Tyler. And I need to be able to see that hole there. We can see those clear enough, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. See that hole. There you go. Definitely see them now, can't we? Look at that. Right, and, and then what we do is we take this plate, and that plate should line up there, and it, all the holes should line up. So you should be able to line all your four holes up. There we go, one, two, three, four. And then what we need to do is mark from, and I think they've given us a little notch here, look, Tyler. That little notch there. I reckon that's what that notch is for, don't you? Mm. Notch there. Notch there. There you go, and then we get a ruler and we go between that notch there and where's that one there? That notch there and that one there. And we are going to slice off and cut all this bit here off. So let's just double check. Check once and whatever they say. Check twice. Cut once. Cut once. So that's there. So that will give us a platform to rest on. This swage will sit and that will all sit hunky-dory, won't it, Tyler? Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's go and cut that. What are we going to use? Angle grinder, obviously. Isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe not in this situation. No, let's, let's get this safety first, Tyler. Let's get this all. Right, we're ready. Ready to cut. We're going to cut there. You've got my line. You've got my beautiful line there, yeah. Tyler. See it. You see it? Whether I'll cut along it or not. We've got a cutting disc on our little cordless grinder. He should do the job. Let the, let the blade do the work. Yeah. He's got his safety glasses. Good. There we go. So we'll just file that so we've got no sharp edges and then we're ready for the next bit. Right. Tyler has filed that nicely. We've given it a bit of paint. Why not? Um, so I'll show you what we're going to do. So that is going to go back on there. And then this, you've got the little swagey step mark there. So that's got a, that's nicely designed. So it overlaps there and then we can line that up. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put these two screws into here. And what we've got to do is mark on the trim panel. That will give us the hole. And they've actually given us a template. So this is not used. This is just a template. So we're going to use this. We're going to mark the position of those holes, drill through, and then we can use this template to mark where we've got to cut out the carpet. So... Right, we will get this reassembled. So we will take the speaker, put that back onto here, get the subwoofer, get that plugged back in. We can get that all reassembled and get that and we'll come back when we've got those two ready to go on. Subwoofer's all bolted in. Remember the connections for the subwoofer when you're doing it. Tyler was saying you could use some thread lock on these. There is evidence that they have originally had thread lock on, whether that will be sufficient to re-engage it we're not sure right, yeah. right we are all good so we've got those we've got those two points so then what we can do right if you look here you've got these little plastic pins now they've got to line up with that hole there and that hole there. Obviously, I've got it the opposite way round, but what that's going to do, that should allow me to just roughly draw a little square here. Now, I think where that's dark, I think you've got, so we don't need to do, we don't need that, do we? We just need that area there is going to be. So I will get busy with some scissors, cut this fluffy bit of fluff out there, and then we're going to put some masking tape over here. Right, let's go.
Right, so we've cut the square out. Hopefully that's in the right place. Now what I'm gonna try and do, now they said just, they said just put one layer of masking tape on and then you could put paint or Tipex or orange pen on the head of the screws or some. But I reckon if I put two or three layers of masking tape on, I reckon it might give enough thickness to make a dent in it. Let's have a look. Mm -mm. Right, so what we're trying to do is work out where those two screws are. So right, let's move those tools. Thank you, Tyler. Right then. Now we should, that just rests over there, right? Over that, that's it, you got it, toilet, you got it. Right. Now, now those, let me make sure those poppers line up. That, that popper's lined up. Yeah, and then I guess I just press, if I just press here, Let's have a look if that's made enough indent. No, we're going to have to go for the paint technique. No, let's have a go. We want to try and get it right first time, don't we? But at least we had a practice that last time. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. We win out with the orange pen. So we've got to drill two holes through there now. So we'll get on and drill two eight millimeter holes through there. Right, here we go. So let's have a roughly. Oh, it's right on that rib, yeah. Right, let's have a look. And that should, we can just see the two holes there and then the trick is i think we've got a we've got to get the template it might be easier actually to see if we put masking tape on let's have a look and then find the find the two holes he says where's the other hole There we go, so there's the two holes. And then that template, what we're looking at is, so there's, there's this line that runs along here, almost between these two boulders. You can see there's this line in the carpet and the template should fit to that line. It's hard to see on the camera probably, but you can see there that's given a, so I think, the line dictates the angle this way. The two holes are really to guide you in this left and right orientation. So let's have a let's have a look there. All right, I need I need more masking tape. But what we're going to do is that we'll right. So key to note. So the flat edge of the template goes along the line, and the round edge of the template goes next to this curve at the top. So we should better rattle that round here. Mm -mm -mm. Bit more masking tape along the bottom. Yeah, that was sort of alien face. Mm -mm. Right, and then we've just got to work out how to how to drill that. Whether we use the multi tool. Now we're not worried too much because the panel we're fitting has a sort of a sort of flange around it so it will overlap so we don't have to be super accurate but obviously we need to try and get it as best we can um, they're suggesting drill some holes in the corners here and here and then you can sort of the jigsaw then will go round it's those 90 degree angles that are the most so what we've got the drill try this one a bit better Whoa. so yeah i think you just got to be firm and slow on these there you go. Yeah, the, the carpet sort of fights you. Right, we'll get that. We'll try and find the jigsaw and get that jigsawed out. Right. There we go. It's going one of my holes. I'm gonna go a bit I'm gonna go a bit off piece. I'm gonna go across to this corner and try and get round here. 
Right, we'll finish that. Right, so before we do any more, we'll just check that this fits in here. So we'll just get the cable in. And then check that that fits in there. Like so, and just check that the that's all free to spring and move. Um, that's not looking too bad. Let's take that, that's all our tape off. And we don't need to mount it yet. The instructions actually show it in a slightly different order, don't they, Tyler? Yeah. But I was, I think before we start messing up, have I got it a little twisted, Tyler? Probably, I think you guys at home can do a slightly better job. It seems a little bit twist, twisted that way to me. Um, which might be a bit of a, maybe we'll just give it a bit. I think I can I'll just have a look where that's tight. I think it's probably this bottom edge here. I think I'll just give it a bit more freedom because otherwise those two bolts aren't going to quite line up, are they? So I'll just, I'll just take a little bit of that out just so it can twist a bit. Right, I've just taken a little bit off that edge and now look, we can, we can get it exactly right. And as Tyler correctly pointed out, when we put those two bolts in the back there, that will all just pull it square. So yeah, and you won't see any of that. That's, that's a neat job in it, Tyler. Yeah. Right, we are now ready to go and So basically we've got to uncover the actuator. And as you can see, when you pull this, this little cable, let me put it over the back here, look. So as you pull that, this is gonna do that. Now there is an actuator in here. Now this video will be useful for people who wanna do their actuator. So what? which bits does it say we've got to cut out, Tyler? Uh, this square and that square. Okay, well that's all. Right, now, so oh, I'm not gonna have the blade sticking out too far, Tyler, because I'm, I'm not sure what's behind here. Hopefully there's metal behind me. But I don't want to. Hmm. We haven't got our cowboy hats on today, have we, Tyler? We're trying to do a good job today. All right. Yeah. So you want to be a bit careful around that area there. Yeah. You luckily, I see here I didn't cut Tyler. <laughs> so, so yeah, you want to be a bit careful. I would be cutting around this side flapping it over and then cutting that look because you are close to those wires there look but luckily Tyler I've avoided those there you go and I guess we could stick that back in right and then this bit here is it yeah, yeah. right we've got no wires around there have we so in fact you could leave it as a little flappage couldn't you right then so there we go now now, actually, is that the right bit, Tyler? I'm a bit worried we've cut the wrong bit out because I think we've got to cut out here. I think I'm going to have to read the instructions because I think they were talking about some bolts we've got to get to. And I think those bolts are under this bit here, Tyler. Right, wow. we'll find out. Let's go and have a look. Tyler had not misinformed me. These were the bits he said to take out, but the, the bolts that need to be undone are under here somewhere. So I'm going to see if I can... And reveal. There we go. Right then. Now, where's the two bolts? I still, I'm still none the wiser, am I, Tyler? Ah, here we go. So these are the two bolts here. So we've got one here and one here. Right. So we've got to undo those, but you only have to loosen them apparently. Let me just have a look. That is the. It's basically all coming out. It's all coming out. I mean, I think if you can. Right then. There we go. We can stick that back. Look. So this one, you can see that as you loosen it, you can slot it back this way. And I suspect there's something similar on this one here. Let's get the sockets on it. Right, we've then got our unplug and electrical connector. So we're just gonna, we're gonna leave these for a second. Now there's an electrical connector. So you can see this wire going through this small end hole here. Now, if you follow that wire along with your fingers, cause you can't see, you, you'll feel it go onto a connector and you'll feel the two little barrels, like a double barrel shotgun. And then underneath, so on the underside, there's a little thing you have to press. And you press that up, pull on the wires and you release it. So you see, you'll go in, 
and you'll feel this little double barreled shotgun thing here and it's this little tab here that's on the underside that you've got to press so you're working blind in there push up on that that releases that little extractor there so we got that out so we're good now right tyler yeah right then whoa one two three we don't need to go too berserk do we Eight millimeter, yeah. Three. So again, we now they reckon this slide. So that definitely yeah. slides there. That other one slides. That yeah. other one slides, yeah. Okay. Right now, but but there must be some. I'm a bit confused, Tyler, because there must be some cables connecting this, but only on the one side it would appear. So can we? Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Right. So yeah. So if you, so if you, now I haven't un what you called that, but that looks like it's. It looks like it should be. So there we go. So that is that. Now, I believe now we need to remove the cover. When Torx T15. Let's have a go. Oh. Just going for it. Look at that. Raw strength. Got a bit more light there, Tyler. Oh. Oh, sorry, he's not lost. He's not lost. Right then. Careful, don't, careful not to drop these small screws. Yeah, don't be a Tyler. No, Tyler, that was a Simon, that one. I can't even blame you for that, Tyler. <laughs> right then. I mean, you can. Oh, look at that. The stars are shining on me today, Tyler. Look at that. Right then. So, right, I'm making this up as I go along. So, you can see how this works. So, the electrical call signal comes in here, and clearly, it must activate. I don't want to, oh, there you go. And, and that is what releases your tailgate so what we're trying to do i guess is oh look now that can rotate and what we're trying to do is connect our cable here onto that one so that we have a secondary way of activating this mechanism here push, push. now obviously if you're going to replace your actuator this is the way you would do it this bit here i don't know how that cable oh, what does that cable it does look like a mouth, doesn't it? And there's a pin here, Tyler. Yeah. Is it one of those? Ah, oh, yeah, it looks like it all. It looks like, there you go, you can see that wobble in there. So I think that probably is just the clamp, isn't it? But we don't need to do it. But if you were doing that, it looks like you could push that there um, and release that. Right, now we'll work out how they think we are going to connect that onto there. Right, so what they're providing us with is this little mechanism. I've, um, I think what you do is you've got this central post and you put one wire down one side of the post and the other wire down the other. Then you put that clamp plate on the, it's all a bit, it's all a bit fiddly. It's a bit tiny. And then you put that one on top and then you put the nut and as you tighten the nut, it will clamp onto the two wires and get them together, right. In fact, if we close this tighter, we'll have a bit more light on the work surface, I think. There you go. Brilliant design of tailgate that time, isn't it? Right, so I think you don't need to disassemble it like I have. I think you can just get it in there. Get... It's not great video age, is it, Tyler? Right, we've got that on one side there. Get that out of the way. Right, and then I can get this other one. I've got one each side, that doesn't look, oh, I want to get that spring. And then I've got to rotate that little, that little plate there. Spin that in, I'll get my fingers out of the way in a minute and you can have a good look. Right there. Now, there you go, like that. Okay, so that has clamped the two together. Be careful you don't clamp that spring in it. We'll tighten that up now. And then we, we've just got to tidy up the cables then. Yeah. Right, so there we go. We have put that on now. They do suggest that you could put some thread lock on there. Um, but that should be, so you can see my spring is loose. We've got the two cables clamped well and truly in there. Um, and I guess we've got to make sure that this has got, because if you, if you had it too far up here, it wouldn't be able to sort of move freely. So check you've got, Free movement there, but that seems neat enough, doesn't it, Tyler? Yeah. I don't know whether there's any advantage in 
rotating this into any particular angle. That all seems fine, doesn't it? Right then. And then what we've got to do, they've suggested some sort of routing to route this along here. So I'll, I'll get that worked out and get ready to show you that. Right, so this next bit is slightly confusing, but basically, obviously when you pull the lever here, everything moves. So you have to have a, an end stop. So what they've got is they've obviously found this clip somewhere uh, and, it, and what they're saying is you position it such that it comes to rest against that there. Now, it, it would have been nice if it actually clipped over that, but the, re the way you get it to sort of stay there is you route the cable over here and then you use the provided cable ties here to sort of strap the cable. I think it's going to be long enough to wear. Right, so let's grab one of these provided cable ties. So there is a short cable tie. We'll work out where that goes. And you've got four long ones. So let me just position this roughly under here. We'll close that top again tight. We'll be able to see what we're doing. That's better, look. Right, so we got that there. We got that clip resting against there. All right, let's get him. And you may have to get the excess going that way because I guess the lid is going to be fairly close. You don't want the little stub. Can we call it a stub, Tyler? Yeah, okay. Call it what we like. All right. Bring it over to the left seat. No. Not for that reason, then. Not for that reason. <laughs> don't start those rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think I've got more space over this side on this one. Right then. There you go. Right, so let's let's have a look. I think do they suggest three cable ties, but but there we go, we can check it all. Yeah. So that all seems to work. Right, we're happy with all that. That's that that just gets in the way enough, doesn't it? Yeah. Can we do a full test? We will do before we get it, but let's get let's get these snipped and get that cover on, and we're we're good. We're we're looking better then. Right, couple of little notes. Where I put that cable tie around here gets in the way with the end of the case. You need to just go around the little waist on the connector, but I just got to make sure that that connector can fit on. Let me just check that because otherwise I'm going to make sure that will latch on the Tyler. Look, that gets in the way there, so that ain't a good idea, is it? because um, that's the latch we'll just have to get rid of that one. Um, but we need yeah maybe we'll just have to get rid of that one wherever I oh they're tough as old boots oh, hold on there we go bear for that mm -mm. it's true maybe we'll have to put one on there later when it's because you see that goes right over that so you really can't do that um, we'll try if we can get one in there. Right, the, the other problem we got, so when you put the cover on and take it off, this, it's probably better to slide it on from here, like so. Now, when I had the cable tie around there, where the body's close to the end of that case there, that was giving us a problem. So we're okay with that, aren't we, Tyler? Yeah. So we'll just check, and we'll just check that this will... Yeah, that's all good. So we'll get that. I'm just a bit worried it's, it's holding it's holding it off. But I think those screws will pull it. You haven't got a lot of room for those cable ties. And they're, they're on the top of that. So you've got to be a little bit careful. They will hold it off a little bit. But there you go. But yeah, slide it over the end first. Right, we'll get this reassembled. Right, we're just discussing the cable routing, whether it came out and ran across the top. But I think it all sits below. So I think we don't need to think too much, Tom. I'm still a bit worried about that clip there, Tyler. I'm still worried where that one should, but let's we'll have a little look in. All right. So that goes in. Right. It goes back up. All right, there we go. There's that one. That other hole we can't see, but there we go. We've got that, we've got that. I guess it doesn't need to be located super precise, does it? But we'll, we'll, we can see the old mark where the washer was. You see that, Tyler, there? So if we get it back the same. Right. There you go. Right. 
Okay, so that's good. Right, electrical connector. Let's make sure. And remember the, the little bit goes down. Find that. Listen for a click. Yeah, right, we're good. Right, so that is all reconnected. So we've got this. So now we've got this. Now I guess we're going to thread that under here. Yes, right. And then obviously once we've got it located, we'll have to pass it through the hole and then it is going to line up on those two screws there. Right then. Okay, so I can reapply it the, now. There is one disadvantage with this kit, Tyler. I mean, obviously you've got to buy it and it takes time to fit it. But you used, I thought you'd have spotted this one. Right. When you have a bass speaker, the tailgate panel is acting as an acoustic chamber. It's like a back box. And sometimes they go to quite big lengths to work out the volume. Now, I think that all this ceiling here was to create a sealed box where the air volume could resonate. So obviously where we've taken we've now got a big hole here and a big so we might lose a bit of the sonic cathedral of sound boom boom boomness but i don't think we're that worried <laughs> and bear in mind we have got that carpet panel that seals over it all as well so but if you're a high fidelity person then high fidelity right we're waffling of course right there we go we wanna... there we go look at that good as new right uh, even better yeah, we got rid of all the dust and sand. Right, so let's have a look now. So we should, in theory, Tyler, be on the home straight, shouldn't we? Shove it back on. Back on. Back on. So we're going to have to thread it through. Right, let's get it the right way around. Right, let's not lose any. <laughs> right then. I mean, we could put that extra cable tie on there, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm, I'm happy with all that. Right then, that. That goes through. Let's get that through first. Right. Is that looking all right, Tyler? Have we forgot? Have we got everything? Yeah. Yeah, let me put that down just so everyone can see. Right then. So we know we've got those white popper clips. Right. That's good. Right, and now that goes there. That goes there. Oh. Right, How do they line up? Oh, we're a bit off, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Oh no, look, can you see? Where we can only just see the things there. So we might have gone a bit low, let's have a look. Look, I think we went a bit low, so you've got to go real close to that line. Can you see that line better there, Tyler? Yeah. So make sure you cut when you put the template on. So we'll just have to nibble that out a little bit there. I think we'll, I think we'll get away with it, Tyler. Right. Let's quickly nibble that bit out. Right, a bit of help from the file. We're not too far off. We're nearly lining up there now. So let me have a look. Oh, there we go. They've given us a bit of clearance on those two holes, Tyler, as well. That is the only trouble with painting your screws. I guess we could wipe those off with a bit of thinner. Can't we? Are they long enough? Now, have they given us, are they the, I'm just wondering, Tyler, if they gave us two long screws to, yes, look, yeah. yeah. So you don't need to worry about those screws. Yeah. Well, you ought to read the instructions, really. <laughs> so those screws there, they give you some nice sort of stainless Allen head ones. So we don't, right, let's get this right then. Don't, don't put those in. Right, there we go. So we've got that. So it's a, Allen key size three, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll close that lid again, Tyler. Close that upper tailgate. We keep going up and down with that tailgate. That's better. Now, you can see that I've gone a bit close at that bottom, so I would go above that line. I've just exposed a little bit too much there. But we make mistakes, so you don't have to in that right yeah. time. Right, so. Now, before you put your whole car back together, you are going to want to try this to check it works, aren't you? Yeah, right. So let's have a look. So, 
Oh, oh, we've got to put, before we can try it, Tyler, we've got to put our springy things back on, haven't we? I'll put the balls back in, right? Let's put the balls back in. And then we can try it all. Right, the balls are in, the cables are on. We still have what sounds like a release mechanism. Here we go. So I'm not going to close the top. So, well, so that should, I guess. It's not going to release. No, it's not going to release the bottom. But it's. it sounds like his. Well, I guess we've got to go for it, haven't we, Tyler? Okay, no. Here you go. I get all the best jobs. Right. Go on then, Tyler. Lock me in my own car. Leave you overnight. Ah, there we go. So we now have a tailgate. So we are going to put finish putting this back together. Whoa, look at that. Right then. So remember, we've got to reposition those spring clips on here before we screw that back together. And also, we will we'll put all that back together. We will come back and do one last check. We will check that the everything works. So the central locking works, the key works, everything works. Because um, there's no good just having the manual work. But that is going to be useful. If you're doing filming and you want to sit in the back and film a car behind you, because I know people do use these discoveries for doing filming work, then at least you better be in the back of your car, release that, open the back tailgate, sit in the back safely and do some filming. So, and also you're never gonna worry now about your actuator packing up and not being able to get in your boot. Right, we'll do a fo we'll see you again in just two minutes. Right, final check, so we've locked the car. So yeah, the locking works. Right, give it two unlocks, Tyler. There we go, that works, all happy with that. Lower tailgate works, happy with that. Right, let's see if we can do the old um, release on the key fob. There we go, so that's all working. So we are all working, we have got that done. Thanks to the guys at Land Rover Passion. Sorry it took me a few weeks to get that video done for you guys, but we will put the link to Land Rover Passion below. If you're in Europe, you can buy from them, or if you're in the UK, we will also put it on our website, but bear in mind it'll be a little more expensive on our website because of the shipping from Europe, etc. Good luck with that. I hope that helps you.